Richard, uh, big game at the weekend and a chance to finish top of the group. Yeah, uh, massive opportunity for us. Um, I think last week it was all a bit doom and gloom with the result we had and we put that right on Tuesday and, and got half the job done. So we'll go to Clyde on Saturday and hopefully get the, the job finished. Did that result against Shinra perhaps give that extra bit of motivation to realise that it's still early doors and there's still a lot of work to be done and maybe give you boys that boost? I think so, yeah. Um, I, don't, I don't think the boys you know, took their foot off the gas or anything like that, but uh, it definitely gave us like a little bit of a wake-up call and, and maybe shown us that we weren't where we thought we were. And uh, we put a bit of extra work in and, and obviously got the, the result on Tuesday. So I think in hindsight, the result at Stronwell was probably a good one for us. Yeah, and particularly going away from home, as we are, will be against Clyde, it shows that these are tough places to go, aren't they? They're not exactly cut and dry results. That's it. You know, obviously people, people will go there expecting us to, to beat them and beat them comfortably, but... It's never the case, you know, football matches, you know, on the day and you, you never know what can happen. So, you know, we'll go into Saturday's game with Strun Ra in mind and, and, and go and try and get the job done. And as a whole, if we look at the first three games, it's been undefeated and two clean sheets in the process as well. So all in all, it's been a positive start to the new campaign, hasn't it? Yeah, uh, very positive. Obviously, with the clean sheets, um, it's good to get back and, and get some of them in. So... Um, hopefully we can, like I say, get the job done on Saturday and, and take that form into the league season. Yeah, and with yourself as well, Richard, the clean sheet's are one thing, but obviously getting off the mark with a goal as well. And all in all, the boys really look at home together at the moment. Yeah, uh, I think the lads have, have settled in really nicely and um, I think that showed, probably particularly on Tuesday night, showed better. We, we're back to our old self a little bit. Um, I think we've still got another 20% 20, 20 to go before we get back to our, our full capacity, but... Um, you know, the lads have settled in and it was, like you say, it was nice to get off the mark uh, quite early with the goal. So uh, I'm happy with that. Hopefully I can add a few more. Yeah, and of course for you now with the likes of Connor, Sam and coming into the team, we've obviously got Curtis and Ryan and Danny up there as well. For you, that's what do you make of having that up top as a defender? And of course, we're <coughs> providing assists as well. It's fantastic. You know, um, I think as a defender, you think we'll, we'll try and keep a clean sheet here. If we keep, keep a clean sheet, we've always got an opportunity to for one of the boys to score. So... Um, that's good, and then on the, on the other hand, uh, in terms of assists, you know, any time I can put the ball into the box, and and I've got Boy, uh, Sam or or Mano in there, um, I'll be putting it in there. Uh, Danny as well, sorry. Um, so it's a good Arsenal up top, and and hopefully we can they can find their partnerships and and start banging the goals in. And of course, on a personal level, and just finally, Richard, you happy being back and things happy. Busting away up there in the gym and working hard. Absolutely delighted, yeah. Um, obviously, it was a short break, um, but I think after about two, three weeks anyway, you're you're itching to get back. So, um, delighted to be back. Um, delighted that pre-season's almost finished, <laughs> uh, and the real games can get get going, and and we can start the league campaign. Cheers, Richard. Thanks, mate.